Hello and welcome to Euro Football Daily, where today we've put together a shopping list of the players your club should be looking to sign during the transfer window this summer. 10. Arkadiusz Milik Polish striker Arkadiusz Milik signed for Ajax on a permanent deal last summer after enjoying a loan spell in Amsterdam the year before. Six foot one, quick and skillful, Milik has scored 47 goals in just 75 appearances for Ajax, averaging around four shots and a key pass every single game in the Eredivisie. A rumoured target for Leicester City, Milik is valued at just 10 million euros according to Transfer Marked, and he has been personally mentored by Dennis Bergkamp during his time in the Netherlands. And despite only turning 22 in February, the pole has racked up 31 caps and 11 goals for his country, including a goal and an assist in his five matches at Euro 2016. 9. Idris Agge In 2015, Leicester were pursuing Idris Agge, but failed to strike a deal with Lille and turned to their second choice defensive midfielder, a Frenchman called N'Golo Kante. Gay joined Villa and was promptly relegated, but the Senegalese's performances weren't as bad as you might think. In fact, Gay and Kante produced very similar numbers last year, with Gay making 3.2 tackles a game to Kante's 3.7 and 4.1 interception to Kante's 4.6. Meanwhile, he had a higher passing accuracy, more successful dribbles and won more than half of his aerial duels, while the Leicester man could only win 40%. And Villa's demotion to the championship could lower Gay's price even more, making him a great bargain buy. 8. Sebastian Haller You might assume you know every promising young French striker, but Utrecht's Sebastian Haller is yet to become a familiar name. The 6'2 centre forward netted 19 goals in the Eredivisie last year, that's 31% of Utrecht's total 57 and he laid on five assists for his teammates as well, the same number as Philippe Coutinho managed in the Premier League. Haller turned 22 in June 2016 and only joined Utrecht on a permanent deal in 2015 after a loan from Auxerre. With good pace and decent creative skills, he could be a clever gamble for a mid-table side in need of an all-round forward or a better team with more funds to pursue a more established name. 7. Pierre-Emile Hoiberg with Bayern Munich since 2012, Pierre-Emile Hoiberg has understandably struggled to get any time in the first team and has spent the last two years on loan at Augsburg and Schalke, where he has shown himself to be a quality all-round midfielder. The Denmark international averages 3.7 tackles and interceptions a game, shielding the backline admirably in his 23 appearances. Though very highly rated by Pep Guardiola, the 20-year-old grew frustrated at the lack of opportunities at the Allianz and has said that he wants to move to a smaller club in the 2016 window. 6. Ricardo Rodriguez This summer, plenty of big clubs are searching for fullbacks, and Swiss international Ricardo Rodriguez could well be in massive demand. Though yet to turn 24, the left-back has been a Wolfsburg regular for five years now and is skillful and attack-minded presence in the back line. In fact, Rodriguez produces around 1.5 key passes per game, that's more than Cristiano Ronaldo, Anthony Martial and Aaron Ramsey. He also weighed in with two goals and three assists in the Bundesliga in 2015-16 and with a reported release clause of just 25 million euros, suitors would not need to haggle with Wolfsburg to get a move sorted, but they need to hurry as the clause expires this summer. 5. Sofian Buffal Linked with Arsenal and Chelsea, attacking mid Sofiane Buffal got 11 goals and 4 assists in Ligue 1 this year as Lille finished 5th despite scoring just 39 times. The Moroccan was responsible for 38% of Les Dugues' attacking output, made 2.5 passes a game and completed an insane 4.4 dribbles a match, the second highest in Europe above Neymar and Lionel Messi. At just 22 years old, Buffal can play all the way across the front line and is surprisingly strong on the ball for a man of his size. He's one of the three most fouled players in Ligue 1 and is wasted on a team which has stagnated since its glory days under Rudy Garcia. Let's hope we see him in London pretty soon. 4. Domenico Berardi Sassuolo's most important attacker in 2015-16, Berardi racked up 7 goals and 6 assists as the Minnows finished in 6th place in Serie A above AC Milan and Lazio. However, the Italian failed to match his previously high standards with 15 goals and 16 goals in his previous two seasons. 
At one point co-owned by Sassuolo and Juventus, Berardi took just 59 games to register 30 league goals. I mean, Lionel Messi took 70 games to reach the same milestone with Barcelona. 3. Nabil Fakir One of the breakout stars of 2014-15, with 13 goals and 12 assists, Fakir had an injury-disrupted campaign in 15-16. However, in his five starts, he still scored four goals and made another, netting or assisting every 93 minutes and confirming his status as one of the brightest talents in France. Capable of playing as an attacking midfielder or a centre forward, the 22-year-old completes around three dribbles a game and gives two key passes, maintaining an incredibly impressive 86% pass accuracy despite being positioned really high up the pitch. After damaging his knee ligaments badly, a move could be risky, but it could also reduce the asking price for a potential world beater. Yet, yeah, he really is that good. 2. Andrei Yarmolenko One of the enduring mysteries of world football is how Andrei Yarmolenko is still at Dynamo Kiev. The Ukrainian wide man is powerful, fast and technically strong, with his nearly 6 foot 3 frame making him a physical mismatch for most fullbacks. As a result, Yarmolenko has scored 59 goals in his last three seasons, a remarkable figure for a non-striker, and has racked up 25 in 59 games for Ukraine too. Now 26, he's in his prime, and Dinamo have made it clear that 30 million euros would be enough for his signature. In a market where Troy Deeney is rated at nearly 40 million euros, that's nothing. Number 1. Hakim Ziyech Every team looking for more creativity this summer should be considering a move for FC Twente's Hakim Ziyech. The outstanding player in the air of in 15-16 season, the Moroccan scored 17 and assisted 10, making him responsible for an incredible 56% of Twente's 48 league goals. Ziyech's personal contribution was amazing as he took the most shots per game of anyone in the league, made the most key passes and completed the second highest number of dribbles. With the club's financial difficulties almost resulting in demotion to the second tier, the 23-year-old could well be snapped up for next to nothing. He might well be another superstar. So that was our 10 players who your club should be signing, but who should we have added on the list? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, why don't you check out our 10 best ever Basel exports, including the likes of Ivan Rakitic and Brilin Bolo. And as always, guys, please do like and subscribe.